dear God, where did it all go? Hello everybody, Smiling Void signing on yet again for another YouTube video. Today, I want to talk to you about how to develop a character for your voiceover work. Now, this is going to be tricky seeing as how I'm still kind of new to all this. And I'm just going to try to give some pointers based on what I've found works for me. And you might not like it, or it could be the coolest thing you've ever heard in your life, and it may lead you to fame and fortune, where you will take over the world! Probably not, but who knows? Anyway, let's get started. Before we begin, I feel it important to let you know that any of the information that I present in this video is based solely on my own research. I don't have much experience, so take this with a grain of salt and realize that there are other ways to do this kind of stuff. Hello there, sir. My name is Je- Get out. Well, okay then. Now the voiceover audition process is really fast. The thing is, you don't have time to read the whole story and do background work on what kind of person your character is, like in stage or screen. I'm sure movies allow you to do that too, but you get sat down in front of some lines, you're given like a brief bio for the character and maybe a summary of the story. And sometimes, most often, a picture as well. Like you get to see what kind of character it is. So if it's like an orc with a really big underbite, Ooh. you're given this like very small piece of information about the character. Sometimes if it's from a pre-existing fandom or you know, like a series that you're familiar with, you can have a little more to go off of. But if it's a new series, what you see is what you get. And you got to make a decision right in that room or in your house, like I do, to give your character a voice and put out whatever emotions you think go with the lines if they're not specified. Now, typically, you'll, some people like to write in little snippets or directions rather like in parentheses it'll be like angry ha 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 let us celebrate the mirnoth gate has fallen taste orcus steel you meat sack you're gonna have so little to go off of and you just have to bang it out like so fast <laughs> Because the audition process for like a legitimate production, it's just going to be moving right along. They're going to have you sit down, read up maybe before you even get in the room, and give them your best shot. When reading with some other actors, if they like you, they'll call you again. If they don't, they won't. That's how life works. And don't take it personal. Because one thing I know about acting is, if you do your best, and you weren't exactly right for this one thing, if you did your best, like I said, the casting agent or director, casting director, will remember you. They'll be like, hey, this guy, I didn't cast him as Susie the 10 year old strawberry blonde, but that Justin guy, you know, he, he did a decent, like, evil laugh. You want to hear it, don't you? Well, we'll save that for another time. <laughs> This is Smiling Void, signing off. Good luck out there.